always good to get home and um, we we love coming out and doing clinics like this with with kids and I, th I think they get a lot out of it too and they get to have a run around which is um, which is great expend some energy before the rest of the day in the classroom I think all the teachers are happy that we can get out there and get them running around get old for you mate getting back down to Hobart and seeing the smiles on the kids faces and getting on your home deck and all that sort of stuff no definitely not I think we we all know that um, you know it's something that we get to do for a relatively short amount of time, you know, and while you while you get to do that and you get the opportunity to get out with kids, I think that's a it's a great opportunity to do do that and um, to see smiles on kids' faces. I, I I love it, and I think all the rest of the guys enjoy coming down to coming down to Hobart. And after a um, bit of a reception early on with the with the weather, we've you guys have put it on for us since, so uh, it's been great to get down here. Have a look around and see like a mini Ben Brown coming through the ranks. Think that kid's just like I was. <laughs> well, we we had a we had a few kids. Um, we we came down for the Next Generation Academies the other day, and uh, a few 11 and 12 year olds running around. And I think there were a few that showed a lot of potential um, from the girls and the boys. So it's an exciting time for us with the AFLW um, coming in next year. And so I think you know it's it's giving a good opportunity for not only the boys to be coming through, but also the girls. So um, who knows? We might see a couple more today. Speaking of academies, Benny, we saw you down at Glen Orkey last night. Take us through briefly what you did down there. Oh yeah, so um, it's, I was honoured to, um, I suppose, uh, for the club to say that they were going to name their academy after after me for the the, um, the kids that are coming through it at Glen Orkey Footy Club, which is great. And Glen Orkey and Devonport Footy Clubs both did a, a massive amount in my my development. So anything that I can give back to um, to footy um, here and um, and also back at um, you know my, where I grew up in Devonport um, I try to do that so you know it's it's fantastic that's happening and hopefully I can do a little bit to help out with with the academy as well at Glenorchy. Oh, Devonport in the state league um, this year obviously or any representation on the northwest coast how does that make you feel as a, as a proud northwest coaster? Yeah obviously um, you know it's disappointing a little bit sad you know can't, um, I, I suppose being a, a Devonport boy growing up I I always had the Devonport Footy Club there, and and they're still still about playing in the in the local league there. But you know, obviously, it's um it's a difficult situation and one that they'll definitely have to look up. For sure. You've come to Hobart in the midst of this storm, I suppose. All this talk about Tasmanian football and making headlines in Melbourne as well. What have you made of all the chatter and talk around the, the state of the game in Tassie? Oh yeah, there's a there's a lot of talk, and I think you know the the first thing is I, I suppose from. From, North, from a North Melbourne perspective, because I am a North Melbourne person, uh, it's great to see that we're um, getting behind our next gen generation academies. And, um, you know, we've got uh, this year with our VFL team, we can get um, state league players to come up and, and play for our, our VFL team so those players can have a little bit of, um, you know, exposure of playing in, in the VFL, which is great, I think. Um, but it is, you know, it's, it's something that's a real talking point at the moment, and I think there's a lot of um, questions that quite rightly Tasmanians are asking and um, you know hopefully North Melbourne can be a part of um, you know remedying that the, the issues that we've got down here. What do you say to the people that say that the Hawks and the Roos they don't, don't do enough in Tasmania they need to do more? Oh well, I th you know I think we've we've done a, actually um, quite a bit and, and being a being a Tasmanian it's a it's a difficult one because you know I've, I grew up with the, the Saints and Hawks at various times playing games in in Launceston but you know, I think, like I said before, you know, we've got our next generation academies, and we, you know, we're taking on um, TSL players hopefully this year uh, to play in our VFL side. So, and we've, we're also really looking. I've, I've sat in on a lot of the AFLW um, list management sessions, and we're looking to get a, a good, um, a good percentage of uh, Tasmanian girls drafted to our team. So, hopefully, that'll come through in the next 12 months, and it'll be a nice little boost for Tasmanian footy. We heard some pretty scathing comments from. Um, Adam Cooney in regards to the crowd of less than 2,000 of Jay at the JLT match in Kingston. Um, what do you make of them? You just said that you know, the, the poor crowd means you know, Tasmanians really don't want to be down here. Oh, I don't really agree with that, to be to be honest. I think you know it was pouring with rain in the morning, and I think that, that might have influenced a few decisions for, for people to actually get out to Kingston and, and watch us play, and particularly seeing as um, you know, North, we've got our three more games down here, and I think a lot of people... Um, we're, we're really hoping for a big crowd, particularly for our Saturday night game against Carlton in round four. So, um, look, I'd, I don't think I'd read into it as much as perhaps Adam has. Um, you know, everyone's got their right to their opinion, but I think, you know, it was raining cats and dogs in the, in the morning, and I think a few of us players were surprised and 
I think a few of us got sunburned as well because the, the Tassie weather turned it on for us in the afternoon when we, we were out on the field. So, yeah, I probably wouldn't read into those comments as much. As a player, though, the facilities down there, the, the surface and the, and the amenities and whatnot, they were obviously up to scratch. Oh, definitely. I, I think that's one thing we really noticed about coming to Tasmania is that, uh, you know, the facilities are always top-notch. Um, playing at, whether it's Aurora Stadium or Blunston Arena, they're, they're some of the best curated grounds in, in, the, in the AFL. Um, so we, we love coming down here and playing. You, you know, you, you feel like you're running on a cloud on Blunston Arena. So um, I think that's one reason the, the players love coming down here, along with the fact that, you know, we tend to win a lot. So, um, you know, we really do enjoy coming down to Tasmania. And Ben, you, you, I guess this season ahead, you had a you know, fantastic season last year. We heard some comments from Brad Scott yesterday about you, obviously, you know, taking our next step again this year. Um, just how high of a level do you think you, you can get through this year? Uh, I'm going to try and push to be the, the best I can possibly be and, and I, I suppose try and repay the club uh, for, the, for the faith they had in me in selecting me in the draft because it did take me a while to get to, to AFL level. Um, but now I'm here, I really want to make sure that I'm making the most of my opportunity and I think there's a lot of other guys that uh, are at the club and that are trying to do the same thing. I think that's really what's exciting for us is you know, we've got a lot of young guys who uh, are looking to really relish that opportunity to, to play senior football this year. So I think it's a really exciting year for us.